Is Sundown worth the extra hundred bucks? Or is Death Bonds really just as good for a cheaper price? Stay tuned to find out. What is going on, Basehead family? Parker here bringing y'all another video. Now, I'm sure y'all have noticed the new name change. I am now Parker the Basehead. Now, forever ago, Derek over at Williston Audio Labs, or Big B Wiz, told me I should change my name. It would really help. So, Derek, I finally did it. Let me know what you think. Now, of course, we will be comparing these two subs over here. But real quick, before we get in, into that, we have a giveaway for you guys. We are giving away this freshly reconed Death Bonds Apocalypse 270 series sub. This is a 272, so it is a dual 2 ohm. Real quick, I want to show you all the old coil. You see right there, that's where she got a little bit toasty, but still kept playing for an entire five minute uh 40 hertz test tone that's rms power which is absolutely crazy but anyway defon sent me a brand new uh cone i put that in and tested it out works perfectly so we're going to be giving this thing away in order to be entered for this giveaway guys you must be subscribed to this channel of course and i made a facebook page to go along with my youtube channel so you must go like that page as well being on facebook it'll be a little easier for me to find people and message them and all that stuff as far as shipping and trying to do it through youtube was kind of a pain but there will be a link in the description below to that facebook page guys so go like that and here in a few days i'll go through there and either pick somebody from the likes or maybe i'll post a picture of it and pick a comment that somebody comments on it or something like that we'll figure out something fun to do but yeah guys giving away this beautiful beautiful death font sub also soon i think i'll be giving away the sundown x v2 so stay tuned for that that will be an insane giveaway, guys. Let's get into this comparison, guys. Of course, this is the Sundown X V3. Just a monster, monster of a sub. This thing, of course, comes in at over $600. And then we have what I consider to be a at least somewhat close competitor. This is the Death Bonds Apocalypse. This is the uh, 3012R series. So we're going to be comparing both of these and letting you know, is this guy worth the extra money? Or are you going to be just fine with this behemoth of a sub over here? Okay, first off, we have my little cheat sheet. So as of the time of making this video, these are the prices. Of course, $6.15.99 for this bad boy over here. And $5.19.90 for this bad boy over here. I will have affiliate links to both of these guys in the description below. Should you want to pick up one of them, really does help out the channel when you uh, click on those links. So thank you guys. The RMS on this guy is rated at 2,000 watts, whereas Def Bonts rates this guy at 2,800 watts. They both have a three inch flat wound coils. Let's see if I can show you those. You can see those big old flat wound coils in there and the big old flat wound coils in there. Now, as far as X-Max, this is where we see a huge difference, at least uh, spec-wise. This guy claims 19 millimeters of X-Max. Now, in my opinion, probably has more. I'll show some slow motions. Both of these guys really moving. You can be the judge. But that font does rate it at 19 millimeters of X-Max. Whereas Sundown says this guy should have close to 4 inches from peak to peak. So that would be your X mesh over here. So of course, I'm assuming the X max would be half of that, which would be two inches, which comes to about 50 millimeters, guys. That is a ridiculous number. Now, I could not find some of the other TS parameters for this guy, it being so new. So I could not find the SPL or the FS. Some of the sites had it listed, but it was for the XV2, not the XV3. But this guy over here does have an SPL of 86 dB, and the FS is 33 hertz. Now, both these guys are big, old, heavy subs. And this guy over here comes in at 61 pounds. 
and the Sundown comes in at about 70 pounds. Let me tell it, on both these guys, you feel it. Nothing to note as far as box specs. The Sundown does seem to like a bigger box. They recommend a 2.5. Now, they say that is really the smallest you want to go, though. If you want to go for a more low-end build, they say build a box bigger than that. But they say the tuning for kind of that regular size box is 32 hertz. Whereas this guy likes a box closer to two cubic feet, tuned to about 35 hertz. So this guy geared a little bit more towards overall musical sub. Whereas this guy is geared more towards that low end excursion. We'll get a quick look up at these. Of course, that massive surround on this guy. Now this one, of course, is smaller, but no slouch at all. Also has these nice ribs. One cool thing about this guy, we get a carbon fiber dust cap, which at least looks really, really cool. We also have the cool uh, accents with the colors over here, which I like. Whereas over here, it's just all black, super plain, but really, really beautiful. Of course, with the Sundown, they have their special patented basket that allows for a ton of excursion. Absolutely beautiful basket. Now, while the Death Bonds one does not allow for quite as much excursion, it still allows for a lot. And it still is a beautifully tooled basket. I would say aesthetically, this basket is just gorgeous. Now with the Sundown, we have the flat tinsel leads. And there are two of them, so they are stacked there. Whereas with the Def Bonds, we have these big old circular leads that are sewn into the spider. One kind of interesting thing, we have big old terminals on these. But these terminals over here are absolutely massive. You could put some big old wire in that boy. Moving down to the motors, y'all. Both have huge, very, very heavy motors. But the Sundowns does seem to be at least slightly the winner. This is a massive, massive motor on this guy. And I do like to have a boot over it. Nice look. I do think with how beautiful the basket and everything is, having a little boot over this definitely would have been a nice touch. But either way, y'all, both have very... Very big old motors. Well, that's what we got, guys. I'm going to play a few clips of these guys playing just so you can see how they sound.
right. Now, my opinion from hearing both of these for an extended period of time for an everyday sub, I did lean towards the Defmonts. It did seem to sound a little bit cleaner, just in a more wide variety of frequencies. It still got really, really low though. Still did really good. However, on some of those low frequencies, it would unload a little bit easier. Whereas this guy over here, I had it on my Taramps Base 8K and I never once got this guy to unload. This thing is just a stiff beast and it just kept going. It took every single thing I threw at it. Now I also did a DB test. So I will show that as well. Ah, right, there we go, guys. Not bad. Got a 143.3. 144.1. Now, as you all saw, this guy was slightly the winner that I had. Now, both of these are dual uh, one ohm. I had them both wired down to half an ohm. Both on the same amp and both in the same box. So kind of hard to say why this guy was louder. Is it really just a louder sub because it has more motor force or something? Or is there some other variable? It's really hard to say, guys. But either way, both got really, really excellent scores for being in such a large cabin, such a big car. All right, now both these guys made it through the musical RMS test. Absolutely no problem. I pushed it way above kind of what I normally would, and they didn't even break a sweat. So I'm not even gonna bother showing that. What I am gonna show though is a test tone RMS test. Now I already did that on this guy over here and it passed with flying, flying colors. the same thing to the sundown we did this guy at 40 hertz we had it at about 26 to 2700 watts so we're gonna get this guy as close to that as we can and see if we can make it through a full five minute 40 hertz test tone okay we've got the xv3 wired up over here got the old xv2 here i had that uh just in here for my everyday playing let's set this guy to real time power there we go now, sometimes the thing will die after like four minutes, so hopefully it'll make it through the whole five minutes, but I guess we'll find out. Got my base knob up here so we can set it. Let's start the timer. Well, the Sundown passed as well. Now, of course, the Sundown is only rated at 2,000 watts, but I had that thing between 2,300 and 2,900 the entire time. And y'all, it made it all the way through without breaking a sweat. I, of course, smelled a little bit, but no smoke, no strong smells, no extreme heat. So y'all, Sundown made it through.
Very impressed with both of these subs. That is an absolutely brutal test. Y'all, let me know what other brands you think I should try that test on. What are some brands you think would definitely not make it through that test? Let me know. My overall opinion, at least for me personally, is that if money was no object, I would probably go with the Sundown. It is just tougher and all around, it still sounds fine. It gets nice and low. But what I really like about it, I literally could throw whatever I wanted at it. And it wouldn't max out, wouldn't unload, wouldn't do anything weird like that. Whereas this guy, when I really, really pushed it on some of those lower frequencies, you would get it to max out. Now, that being said, I also have a 8,000 watt amp. And this is wired down to half an ohm on that guy. So not surprising. Now, for the average person who, of course, doesn't have an 8,000 watt amp, Maybe you have like a nice 3K amp or something and you're wanting a beefy sub to put in that and you're wanting something great for everyday music. Now, my recommendation for that, y'all, save the money, get this sub. You're going to love it. It's going to take everything that around 3,000 and, you know, the 4,000, 5,000 watt amp has. It's going to sound absolutely awesome. You can have it in a little smaller box, so maybe it won't take up as much space. And you're going to love it, guys. It's a beautiful sub. It's an extremely well-made sub. It's going to last a test of time. It is always going to put a smile on your face. Well, guys, both were very impressive. Let me know what you think, what you would go with in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts and excited to see what y'all have to say. Well, y'all remember links in the description should you want to grab one of these guys from Down for Sound as an affiliate link so it helps out the channel, which really, really helps me afford to be able to uh, buy all this mess of stuff that I got back here. It is not cheap. I did pay for both of these Sundown Def Bonds. Did not send me either of these. Paid for this with my own money. So really, really appreciate you guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Remember to enter for the giveaway for that other Def Bonds. And stay tuned for more giveaways soon. Definitely going to give away the Sundown X V2. Probably going to give away this guy as well. And then maybe eventually we'll give away this guy. I'm not 100% sure yet. But we'll see. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all stay tuned for the next video, and as always, keep basing on.